Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Jason Matthew. This is the continuation video or uh, the part three video of 9800 GUI or iOS XP GUI. And we are talking about the uh, big difference between uh, iOS XP and uh, AirOS GUI. We, uh, in the first video, we covered a dashboard and a monitoring page. Then uh, we, in the second video, we covered configuration uh, interface layer to radio configuration. And from here, uh, in this video, I'll be covering routing protocol and security. And um, after that, we will have uh, next videos covering the rest of the things. Now let's go into next section that is routing protocol. So I don't want to talk about uh, this first more, but as I said, this is capable of doing routing. OSPF, you can click on add and you can uh, put that OSPF router, process ID and uh, router ID, VRF information and all those things and apply. And it can actually participate in that. This is the basic, this is the basic configuration and this is the advanced configuration, how you want to map it. You can add the area and all those things. So, so you just keep it in mind that this is capable of doing OSPF. That's it. So I, I don't want to show that example here. I don't have that set up now but this is capable of doing OSPF. Next one is static routing. Right now, this one is running with a default route. So this default route is pointing to my gateway and that is uh, going through the gateway. So this is the only configuration for me because this is all. This is the only exit point for me. I don't want to uh, participate on any routing protocol or something. If you want to enable that, you can enable it. This is the default route. Uh, I configured it on my uh, WLC side and that pointing to my gateway and it's going uh, through that. So let's uh, go into next section uh, that is uh, that is security, security, AAA configuration under uh, security. In our uh, AirOS, uh, we have a security tab. All these configurations under the security tab will come under this section of security. So you have a AAA configuration and this is the AAA configuration we are in. And here you can see radius, stack X, and LDAP. So when we click on uh, radius, you will be able to add your radius server here. Then uh, uh, server groups will be displayed here. So uh, for adding it, you can uh, select on this one and click on add, or you can also go with this uh, to play wizard. So here you can uh, checkbox, uh, you can click on these checkboxes and you can decide what you want to add. So do you want to add stack X? You will get the stack X page. Then if you want to add LDAP, you can add LDAP. So basically this one will allow you to do all the things in one shot. And the, basically this is the uh, wizard and you can actually go into that. And again, this is the basic configuration. If you want to go into advanced, you can go to advanced section and each section you will be able to customize this authentication port, accounting port and all those things. So uh, COA support and all. So by default, it will come with basics. But if you want to customize it, you can go to advanced and that will be applicable for all these three options. So this wizard will help you to just go through this entire thing and configure it in one shot. So you don't have to go to multiple pages and keep adding and all those things. So you can uh, fill these information and click on next and you can uh, go to uh, each and every item and finish it. So once we are done with this server group association, it will be done with the configuration and you can, you, that will be reflecting here. So radius server will reflect Tech X will reflect here, LDAP will reflect. So I'll go through this one uh, in detail in some other video. Uh, this one is just to show you that these GUIs are available. These are the op options available on the GUI. So I am just going into uh, all the graphical views and I'm just showing it. Next one is authentication method list. So again, you can click on add, then you can select uh, what is the method you want to use then you can use that dot uh, 1x login and so how you want to use it how you want to prioritize it you can actually uh, do that so how you want to do that uh, fallback and all those things so it will be coming under uh, authentication will be coming under here so this is the priority order you can say this is the priority order that comes under here so you have this priority order management user priority right so these kind of things are getting converted into this one so you can you can actually uh, use it based on your requirement. Then authorization, accounting, same stuff. You can add that kind of things and you can decide it, what you want to use. Then AAA advanced, so this is the one uh, configures uh, all the advanced options on uh, AAA. Radius fallback, attribute list, device authentication, AP policy, 
password policy basically uh, what you can uh, see here right all these things are coming under here so ap policies password policies all those things are separately uh, separate pages in uh, aeros that getting converted into uh, ios xe here so this is the basic configuration for uh, aaa in ios xe then uh, acl again acl related stuff basically what uh, whatever uh, acls you want to add it you can add it here you can uh, go into this acl setup and you can add uh, acl name then rules keep adding it until you reach the number of rules that is required for you then uh, you will be able to see the associated interfaces so you have this interfaces these many interfaces and you can select the interface then select the acl what, whatever you want to add it so basically this one allow you to map the interfaces with the uh, acl so this is how you do the acl mapping uh, in the same time uh, here you can see acls are coming under this list and uh, once you add this acls you will be able to go to the uh, interface here then uh, under interface you will be able to map the acls right so you have acl uh, mapping here the same thing uh, is getting converted into this model so you have to uh, create the AC once your acls are ready you can click on this associate interface you can select the interface and map the acl there so this is how you do the acl map the next one is uh, pressec uh, so whatever configuration you want to do uh, for pressec you will be able to do that here sgt mapping sxp configuration with uh, ice and all so all these configuration uh, you will be able to configure it here so i don't have this setup so i will not be able to show you how to configure it but this is the page for trustec then uh, advanced deep so whatever uh, configuration you are uh, having under security uh, advanced deep configuration whatever you have it here uh, the uh, same options are coming here for advanced deep then um, pk management this is the one uh, used for uh, say, uh, pk configuration so ca server rsa key pair generation trust point all these things comes uh, comes here then uh, as i said i'm saying it again uh, i i will be coming up with the separate videos for each features so i'll be able to cover or double click on each one of them uh, in different videos but here just a gui uh, so that you will get an idea of what what is there in the gui part of it then uh, locally so if you are using uh, locally as a uh, fallback mechanism you will be able to do that here so if fast and locally you can just click on the profile so basically the locally here getting profiles and all those things getting converted into this one okay uh, then next one is uh, wireless protection policy so you have uh, rogue detection rogue policies rldp rogue ap rules client exclusion policies all those comes here you have rogue policies here general rogue rules standard signature custom signature and all those things client exclusion policy ap authentication management frame protection all these things goes under in uh, into this one wireless protection policy so you can actually configure this one based on your requirement theory is not changing so you we have a uh, uh, feature parity between aeros and ios xe so features are not getting changed the behaviors are not getting changed only the gui will uh, will get changed into this one so we'll go to the next one uh, web both so if you are using web both indication web both indication parameter mapping uh, will be done here so all those things uh, will be available here then a certificate if you are using a different uh, certificate side uh, we will be able to add that here that is for web both in aeros we have web both page here right so login page will come here certificate will come here secure web is coming here so all these configurations actually changed into this model so you have to go to go to your uh, web authentication parameter mapping either you can map uh, separately uh, how you want to do it type is web both uh authentication bypass consent all these things you can configure it then click on that it will add this uh, particular uh, map name so by default you have a mapping so that is uh, global so here uh, this is going to use uh, web authentication then all these uh, parameters are configurable here then advanced session you will be able to use uh, redirect url if you want to use uh, 
uh, redirect for login and all those things you'll be able to add it here so this is the uh, web authentication configuration for security next go into local policy local policy uh, talks about uh, service template policy map so we will cover uh, local policy uh, in a separate uh, video or something right now i'm not going to cover this one let's uh, skip this and uh, go now let's go to the next point uh, that is uh, threat defense basically this is the cisco umbrella integration uh, with the wlc in aero sxe you had uh, this configuration under general you will be able to uh, interact with umbrella uh, configuration in uh, basically the integration with umbrella solution so this one uh, will be used for that you can go to cisco umbrella integration and you can actually apply that and enable that configuration for uh, threat defense then next one is uh, wireless deploy policies so right now we have only one policy here that is uh, default one so if you want to add uh, custom triplet policies you will be able to add it here the next one is um, guest users so uh, this is the place we will create the uh, guest users for uh, guest access so uh, this is the place to add the username password and uh, configure all these um, lifetime and all those things basically uh, the guest users or local guest users that is getting created will be done here and you can even uh, set the lifetime uh, for that user uh, so something like uh, lobby admin is creating a user for guest access so this is the place to uh, create the username and password next one is url filters so here you can uh, put url filters uh, you can give a name then what is the action you want to uh, use it what is the authentication type uh, pre auth and also you will be able to apply this particular uh, list name uh, for the filtering on the url side with this we will close this video then uh, in the configuration uh, services section onwards will be covered in upcoming video thank you for watching